Okay, so rupees and materials that are acquired during scenario can be used in the bazaar for a handful of things. Press uh, the R button, select the scenario screen to access the bazaar. Go. So we can strengthen your warriors here. Let's take the lane because we usually play as him. But so we have a badge attack. These badges are basically help you to increase defenses of all your characters, increase more combos, and everything else in general. They have attacks, defense, and assist badges. Each one has their own unique sets of uh, equipment to uh, use. There's like old rags here. But basically, unlock space. You need to do this first for every character. So, do this for all the characters you're currently playing for in the next mission or so. And don't worry about next session or something. I'm going to activate this one here because why not? Might as well do it for all the characters. I'm going to get Link's upgrade here. Get that monster tooth ready so we can actually increase his combo potential. Impas will create her first combo. The more you do up to the up to the max there, the more combos you can perform with her. So yeah, do it as you will. So we're going into our next match, which is a um, fire dungeon, of course. So we want to make sure to get ourselves upgraded as we see fit. This badges are kind of a waste, my honest opinion, because. All they do is help you to increase the damage for uh, collecting keeps and increasing your items uh, durability power-ups and that's about it. You have the training dojo here as well so you can upgrade your characters using money in case you don't want to grind. That's a pretty useful thing but it gets very expensive later on. And the apothecary here um, we can basically have better weapon drops. Uh, you make potions out of the materials you have and the more gold sculptures you collect, the uh, more um, potions you can make. So use that as you will. So we're going to our next. Now you're able to increase Durian's repertoire of attack options. We're going to get to Durian once we get him, though. Because he's. That's spoilers, game! Why? That's spoilers! Why would you want to do that? Anyway, we're going to the Elden Caves. We're going to, starting off with Impa. And she has got her giant's knife. And yeah, now we get the the post game, but the post mission story and knowing what's going on. So, in this particular section, um, Impa finds out about a mysterious woman who is uh, holding out the forces down in the Faron Woods, and uh, well, the only way to get there is to an El is to a cave, and the Elden Cave is the only way to get there. So. So, Impa basically recruits Link to uh, follow her as a way to find Zelda. And if uh, Impa thinks that if Link here is wearing the tunic of the hero, then eventually Zelda might come out and basically, you know, re basically reunite with us by technicality. But the fact that it's been weeks since then, it's like, man, time flows very fast in this story, I'll give it that. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. So yeah, the Farron Woods has got this young woman that's doing some help down there. But in order to get there, we need to go through the Elden Caves, a path with its own dangers, and more, uh, more tutorial segments. Yeah, because at this point, folks, the Legend Mode is essentially a big, huge tutorial of the entire, of whatever you're going to encounter in the game itself. As you see fit. So we get into our first, our second area of the game. This is the Elden Caves. Sort of a linear pathway this time around for our mission. So we have to get to the opposite side of the map. As fast as possible. Because that way is over on the opposite side. We need to find her. So there's our exit point. We need to get there eventually. By contrived means and everything else for that matter. So... Take that as you will, and I'm stuck on, I'm going on the wrong pathway here. We also get these new outposts. Got these last mission though, but now we get here. We'll basically get an introduction to these things. I mean, the outpost is like taking down a keep in some fashion. It basically means that you have your own allies will appear from those outposts more often once you get those controlled. So, but those outposts usually drop really, really fast. So bear that in mind. 
Blow up a rock here. Blow up this rock here. Because we know that later. Uh, you know, the gold sculpture will appear there, so bear that in mind. We also get an option to pose, which we don't have their weakness to yet. Yeah, they have these enemies to have this, we have a weakness too. But they also are weak against water since they have fire attacks as their main motion to attack with. So, with Impa's uh, attacks being water based, uh, yeah, they can work that, we can work that out like that. Booyah! Hey, get out of here, you, you strong enemy, you. Booyah. We got the forces now of taking over that keep there. Let's take over this keep here, too, so the enemies don't spawn from this area anymore. Oop. Oh, boy. But, um... If, uh, pose are kind of annoying because there's also different variants of them. They'll be like, you know, they'll be like a fiery one, they'll be an icy one, so... Yeah, you're gonna have to face different variants of them, and they get very annoying very, very fast. I guess, fortunately, they're not the most annoying enemy in the game. That will be an enemy in the next mission to boot, so bear that in mind. Take you out, you. Impa's main attack, a special attack, is pretty brutal, though. Like, entire screen dude right in front of her. So that, that is sick. <laughs> Oh boy! Let's take them all down. Guys, when you guys are not doing anything, your warriors are doing nothing. They're just standing around doing absolutely nothing. Huh. We gotta take all these guys out. That lava is stopping our progress. We need to find a way past it. Can we just climb? Alright, oh, we're not in Breath of the Wild. We don't know how to climb walls yet. Looks like we're gonna need to find a, a bigger explosion, and unfortunately, our uh, bombs can't do the trick. Sadly. <laughs> Getting into these caves is so simple. Now that shall become your tomb. Gordon Captain has appeared at the entry square. That's gonna be our next objective. We need to secure a path for a bomb shoe. Who oh, help? Looks are no match for a good old bomb shoe. Thank you. Now we don't let that bomb to do the hard part. Yeah, let the bomb to do all the work. Sacrifice a bomb to for the greater good. <laughs> bomb twos will get stopped by enemies that have health bars on top of them. So take out the enemies with health bars. Let's destroy the ice orb rat. Show these people the manner of death. So take out any enemies that have a health bar above them. The bomb to will not get stopped. Wah! You have to guard that bomb you! Right, Proxy. We'll do that, just that. We have to keep that bomb you safe. There's an enemy nearby that's gonna block it. Take out the enemy with health bars. That's all I can say about that. That's basically as simple as it can get for for the uh, playthrough, folks. <laughs> the any enemies with health bars on top of them, um, take them out. <laughs> they're the they're the strong enemies. That's the enemy people are gonna focus on. Go. Or level up. Level six for Impa. Again, we can command enemy you can command players to go where they need to be, so bear that in mind as you uh as I said before in the last mission. Uh, send enemy send your players out to where you need to be at a strategic point to save save time. That's really is. Sometimes they will get stopped by other enemies, so, or stronger enemies, so you have to take out the strong enemies for the AI to actually work functionally. And I think out of all the other, um, Nintendo Warrior games, like, um, Fire Emblem, Warriors, and Three, and Three Hopes, uh, the AI is basically much better than it was in Hyrule Warriors, so... Because actually the AI will actually do something about it. <laughs> It's a shame, though, that they had to come up with that system in, in Fire Emblem Warriors instead of, you know, Hyrule Warriors. Because, like, that's what Age of Calamity does. Age of Calamity builds off what, um, what uh, Defensive Edition brought to the table. So, and does improve upon it in almost every single way, technically. Oh, I know where that gold sculpture is. You know where that rock we blew up earlier? The one that had really no purpose? Yep, that's where the gold sculpture is. Gotta go after it and get it before it basically before it disappears. 
And just like before, you know, the music will basically drown out for the gold sculpture to be uh, knowing that you're right next to it. Booyah! That level wasn't deep enough. We could have easily jumped over it. Right. Oh, that's right. We can't jump either. Ugh. <laughs> We're not in Breath of the Wild territory. We can't jump at all. Goodness me. All right, all right. You know, because you know, most most options, that, most problems you find in this game, they're like, we're blocked by this, so we can't progress here. We'd all be saved if we could just, you know, simply just, you know, jump. <laughs> I love it how, and also, all these cutscenes are all from the Wii U version. Yeah, these are not been enhanced by the Switch version. These are all Wii U footage. That's why the Lighting is a lot darker in these cutscenes than there are in the actual game itself. Oh, hello! Uh, yeah! Oh, yes, the most broken character in the game! <laughs> the princess isn't dead. You were night with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You may call me Sheik. The name that comes from the Sheikah tribe. The servants of Hyrule or the Hyrule royal family. You could try him. That's impossible. Whoop. Uh oh. You can talk more once we get out of this cave. For now, let me join you. Surprise Impa, Impa is also part of the Sheikah as well. So it's, she has her. I guess um, Impa has her suspicions that Sheik might be, you know, secret working for somebody else and just posing as a Sheik. So, so Impa has her doubts. About Sheik. But Sheik is broken. I'll say it right now, Sheik is the best character in the game. The best warrior. Just because that <clears throat> if you want to use Skultra hunting, Sheik will be your main person for doing so, and for good reason. Uh, because she has an ability that um, that can negate all damage around her for a certain amount of hit points or time. So use that and then just, you know. Take down the enemies as you fit, and booyah! You'll have every gold sculpture in the game from Adventure Mode very easily. I would say right now, Legend Mode has the hardest of the gold sculptures to obtain. Because Adventure Mode just leaves all the um, gold sculptures to either be... Take over all the cubes without taking a certain amount of damage, or do 150 damage, or kill 150 enemies with... Um, with um, just special attacks. So, bear that as you will. We got ourselves our first sealed weapon. But it might be a completely new weapon, but you'll have to check it out later after the mission's over. So now we have to take care of, uh, we have to find some bomb shoes and whatnot. Gotta get around. Oh, that's okay, didn't open. At least we captured the keep. <clears throat> Somebody lock the doors! <laughs> Wizard called summoners to place around the battlefield. Summoners are capable of spawning new units. They will continue spawning units until they are defeated. Make them a make their, uh, their defeat a high priority when they're on the field. Impa will continue on this route here. Basically go down to where we find where there's the spear of the cape. There's nowhere to run! Crush them! Beat them! Grind them to dust! <laughs> Enemies are coming out of the tunnels. Maybe some sort of spear is in there. We'll go in these tunnels here and we'll go after them really, really fast. There's a summoner for you. Again, the summoner. The summoner mechanic is very not done a lot. It's like it's done for a few maps, but most maps don't even bother with summoners. So, so again, they're most likely an enemy type that appears mostly in the in the legend mode. And nothing else <laughs> is worth it about that. We defeated the Spear of the Cave. Now we can move forward now. Doors should unlock now. The tunnel gate is open! Huzzah! And one tunnel gate is open as well. Booyah! We know you can do it, Impa. Now we can get all these caves! Oh, the wizards call the assault troops to place around the battlefield. Oh, I hate this mechanic a lot. Assault troops are enemies that retreat after assaulting a target and inflicting damage. Defeat them before they get the location. 
There's all the things like keep saboteurs are also the same mechanic too, where basically they go to it, they'll go to a keep and basically do a massive damage to it. But more keep saboteurs will um, take over the keep, while soul troopers will just do a lot of damage to one particular keep they're going after. So make these guys your top priority when they appear on the map, because they move fast. Now we can have Sheik as playable. Sweet. Take care of that. Their times of missions will trigger at the same time. Set your missions out there and do your work. Yeah, so if you see multiple missions pop up, send your warriors out, spread your warriors out to basically to complete that task ahead of you. Booyah! Matt, more stones in our way! Oh, of course there is. Why would there not be? Man, inconvenience in a Zelda game? Heaven forbid. <laughs> We need to get out there. We need to grab and find those, uh, cursed, cursed bomb chews again. Ah! Take care of you. The outpost captain's almost dead. The outpost captain dies, the other po the enemy team takes it over. So, kill it again and, uh, regain your throne. Ah! The limb was hanging for that cube. There must be something in there. Capture it. No doubt about it. Link, uh, we'll get Link to do it. Come on, Link. If you're carrying more than one usable item, you can switch between them using the D-pad. Sweet! That's where you can switch from your bombs to maybe a potion you may have in standby. Potions only last, I think, only one time, so bear that in mind as well. So, yeah. Use the health potion when you, when you feel like it's deemed necessary. Though sometimes health is just so plentiful from the enemy drops and pots. There we go. Booyah! Take that weakness to our neck to the next level. Took care of the uh, that takes care of the salt troopers. Well, most most of them anyway. Booyah! Bombs for the win, baby! Booyah! Now I'll take out the keep boss. Let's grab whatever's in this keep right here. They're hiding from us. Chest. And it's for Link, too. So let's grab that bad boy. What do we get here? A heart container. A heart piece. That's two now for Link. Two more and we get another heart container for Link. Booyah. We don't want to go up here. We want to go down to the other keeps. Down that way. So I'm going to actually go... Where, Imp, where did Imp... Where is she going? Um, anyway... We'll have Impa go to this keep here. Hard to justify where we need to go. On that. We'll have Impa go that way. Geek is doing whatever she wants to do. She's over on the opposite side of the map trying to take down enemies down that way. We'll let her do a thing. So, in fact, we're never commenting on the on the uh, the lava dragons that are in the that are created by the lava. They're not Mario enemies by fair, but still, it's kind of a weird thing. They got all these lava creatures in the lava, but they have posed no threat to us whatsoever. We have item power-ups. Um, sometimes you can uh, collect a, a bomb power-up or item power-up and everything. And they just basically increase the uh, the potency of each of each one. So bear that in mind. Uh, so we're going here. Impa's in that room. We'll take it out. Impa's going to take on this. Booyah! Come on, Impa. Do your job. Hooah! And that's down. I'm gonna get this keep back. If any player of warriors flee, you'll lose the battle. So make sure every warrior does not flee whatsoever. It's essentially an extended health bar. Because every character you uh, have in your team is a playable character. And if one falls, all of us fall. So keep an eye on wherever your power is. But it seems the Dark Wizard wants to come out to play again, huh? Angry at its ultimate defeat at Link last time. But now he's known as Wizro. Wizro is a dark fire type. Or dark type, anyway. And he's, uh, he's not a pushover, I'll give it that. He has, he has a lot of them. He's more of a trickster attacker than anything else. So, whatever he does, uh, just basically take him out with special attacks. 
and just you know just wail on him as soon as he fit. Because he has all, he's very hard to guard against. Because he has all these attacks and everything, and his weak point meter doesn't stay up for long. He's just a very he's he's more of an annoying character, really. He's more annoying. He's like a he's like a Po that doesn't want to continue on with his mashing here. Come on, you! Booyah! You can't win against me, Wizro. Oh uh, yeah! Booyah! Get some water on your face, whatever your face might be. I'm not even really sure what Wizro really is. But there's one part of the rock gone. We need the other one. We need that other bomb too to work. Yeah, you're on post comping. Did we, did, did we actually defeat? Oh, we actually defeat Wizro on, on that try. Wow. <laughs> All right, we got a chest here that Impa can only open. What does Impa get? A heart container! Nice. We'll do that. That'll do nicely. Uh, Sheik, what are you doing over here? <laughs> so this is the Sheik's gameplay here. But she's over here doing absolutely nothing. Might as well do something about her. Come on. But it's like, Sheik is fast. She's probably one of the faster characters in the game. So, yeah, bear that in mind if you want to get around fast, this is the way to do it. I think, Sheik, I need you to get back over here as soon as you possibly can. Follow the, uh, follow Link. The Wizard is still active. Where'd he go? Like, he just decided just to, just to follow suit and follow where Link went? I guess he has a vendetta. Did Wizard almost die? Wizard just died! <laughs> By the hands of the AI. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Rock here. That other bomb too saves the day. And I got health pick up right there. Okay. No worries. You take out the Zappos here. Get out of here, you. Huzzah! Always, always wondering about characters who wear, like, wield these swords this big and they can just throw them around like nothing else. Like, you know, I know Cloud Strife does it too from Final Fantasy VII, but still. still amazing how some of these characters are like, they can just wield this sword like nonchalantly and just like, go fast with it. But this would be like a really hunky of a weapon. So let's get out of here. We need to get out of here in post haste. They can read the cave exit and so do I. And we left Sheik behind. Hey, boy, are you alright? We'll be waiting for you at the exit. We made it through the caves. Huzzah. Hey. Great, we can head to the farm. Let's find this woman we've been hearing about. Nice. I hope she's Princess Zelda. I hope so, too. I hope so, too. Link, Impa, well done. If we combine our efforts, Hyrule may yet survive. May yet survive? Why? Do you know what happens in the future? Probably so. That is our next mission done and dusted. So, to be fair, in Age of Calamity, they don't have these, uh, you know, ending cutscenes with the character who basically helped beat the mission in. Which is a kind of a shame. I hate how that is gone. I like the character being, you know, um, Pretty much, you know, an epic, epic finisher and all that much. I like that. But it's not in Hyrule Warriors Calamity. There are rupees. Everything. And now we got Fire Rods, a new weapon for the Link. We'll be using that next mission for sure. Let's go. And, uh, got a sword for a character we don't have yet. And we have a giant's knife with 1,000, um, block on it. That is a kill requirement. You kill 1,000 en enemies with that particular weapon, and you unlock the skill for that weapon. Ooh yeah, and we got a wiz. We got Wizro's uh, cape. <laughs> he must have a lot of those, I guess. And hundred years ahead, we defeated one hundred more enemies with special attacks. Nice. 